What's up guys, Gorilla Chemist here. Wanted to talk to you about our new product called GDA, which is a glucose disposal agent. There's a lot of stuff on this board. I'm gonna try and make it as digestible as possible for you. So, insulin, your best friend, your worst enemy. Which one is it? Well, both, actually. When it comes to building muscle, nothing's more anabolic than insulin. And if you look at the positive size here in green, insulin can increase glucose and amino acid uptake, increase glycolysis, which is a breakdown of carbohydrates, increase glycogen synthesis, which is carbs inside your muscles, increase muscle protein synthesis, which is what we're all after, increase the uptake of ions like potassium, phosphate, sodium, things like that. On the flip side, if there's too much insulin, it does the negative side. It uh, blocks uh, gluconeogenesis, which is break, uh, building of carbohydrates. It can prohibit lipolysis, which is a breakdown of fats, can inhibit ketogenesis, which is your body making ketones when you don't have enough insulin, and proteolysis, which is the breakdown of muscle tissue. So if you maximize your insulin when you're training and with certain foods, you can essentially put your body in an anabolic state. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. So this product does a lot. And this is kind of a cell, and I'm gonna walk you through this. It's a lot of stuff. So insulin binds to the insulin receptor right, which goes, gets phosphorylated, binds to the insulin receptor substrate, and then there's a couple of different pathways that happen right here. If you look at the chart, Genema Silvestri here helps potentiate insulin binding to the insulin receptor. Chromium helps increase uh, potentiation of insulin binding to the insulin receptor by up to eightfold. So chromium helps out here as well. Berberine and cinnamon, specifically the Cinnulin PF, which is a type A polymer from cinnamon that is water soluble. And these help inhibit this process of PTB1B. And once the insulin binds to the, the insulin receptor substrate, it can activate MAPK. It can go down this pathway, which is AKT, AKT PKB. And what this pathway does is it increases glucose disposal. So you're using carbohydrates as energy more efficiently. It increases glycogen storage for working out, and it increases muscle protein synthesis, which is all, what we all want, right? So this is a very anabolic pathway. On the flip side, this pathway, where stimulin and uh, cinnamon activate the PIK3 pathway, you can go down this route, and you have alpha lipoic acid, which is in here, which can help potentiate the binding and the activation of GLUT4 via binding to alpha PKC. GLUT4 is a transport molecule. Basically, glucose cannot get into your cell unless you have GLUT4 being activated. So a couple of ingredients help out with GLUT4 transportation. One is a banana leaf. So we use banana leaf standardized to tannins. Tannins are these water-soluble compounds that are responsible for the anti-diabetic properties of banana leaf. You used to think it was your solic acid and chrysolic acid, but that's not the case. But now I believe actually helps activate GLUT4 so that glucose can get transported into your cell, which increases glycolysis. And then if you look at this pathway, when you're exercising, you increase something called AMPK, and AMPK helps regulate your body's energy, as well as these things that we talked about, glucose disposal, glycogen synthesis, and muscle protein synthesis. Berberine, and bitter melon, which are used in this product, can help activate AMPK, which in turn will activate GLU4 and this pathway that we talked about here. So bitter melon actually inhibits gluconeogenesis, which is the formation of sugar from amino acids or proteins, which is not what you want. That means you're breaking down muscle tissue to make carbs, okay? So GDA specifically formulated with these seven ingredients to help maximize insulin sensitivity, which means that your body is utilizing carbohydrates more efficiently, they're less likely to be stored as fat, you're more likely to use them in the gym for energy and get a crazy pump. It increases glucose and amino acid uptake, which means you could get more amino acids into your bloodstream and into your muscles to build muscle tissue, get more carbohydrates into your muscles while you're training so that you get a crazy nasty pump, which you can literally feel if you eat carbs and take this product before you train. 
and ultimately increasing muscle protein synthesis, which is what everyone here wants is to build muscle and to lose fat. So the key to everything working well is the synergy between these seven ingredients, which we go through is banana leaf extract, which is standardized for tannins, Gymneva sylvestri extract, Sinulin, which has the type A polymers that are water soluble, alpha lipoic acid, berberine in the form of super berberine, which is a cluster dextrin berberine complex for absorptivity, chromium 3 in the form of chromium polynicotinate for the binding to the insulin receptor, and bitter melon extract standardized to 10% bitters. This is a crazy, strong, intense glucose disposal product. And through all of these different pathways, this product can help you build muscle, lose fat, get pumps, anything that you want to do, stay in an anabolic state, eat more carbohydrates, store less fat, ultimately increasing insulin sensitivity throughout your body. So hit up chemicslifestyle.com if you have any questions or hit me up, The Real Chemist, on Instagram. Until next time.